Did JWST just find an atmosphere on TRAPPIST 1E? So TRAPPIST E, so this is a star system, it's only 40 light years away. So at 40, it's actually exceptionally close, meaning one of the ones we can study the best. And we've always liked this system because six of the planets existed, four of them were in that range that could be okay to host some sort of life and evolved life. Yeah. The e, as they call it, so the fifth planet, uh, sorry, fourth planet, has now been confirmed uh, to have an atmosphere and a viable atmosphere, meaning so not only could you have the conditions for life, you can keep it there, keep it protected, and keep Short it Short answer. We see hints, not proof. Astronomers use JWST to watch multiple transits of TRAPPIST-1E with its near-spec instrument and compared the planet's spectrum to models. The new analyses say what the atmosphere is not. It is very unlikely to be carbon dioxide dominated like Venus or Mars, and it is not a thick hydrogen-rich envelope. That narrows the field in a big way. So what could it be? Two live options remain. One is a thin, hard-to-see atmosphere that could be mostly nitrogen with trace gases. The other is a bare rock with little or no air. Right now, the data allow both. The big headache is the star itself. TRAPPIST-1 is an active red dwarf with star spots and faculae that leak into the planet's spectrum and can mimic or hide atmospheric signs. Teams are correcting for that, but it takes time and lots of transits. Compare that to the inner siblings. JWST already measured the thermal glow of TRAPPIST-1b and found a hot day side and almost no heat on the night side, which fits an airless world. New phase curve work points the same way for B and likely C. That is bad news for thick air close in, but it makes E even more interesting in the temperate zone. What would count as proof for E? A repeatable detection of a molecule like carbon dioxide at 4.3 microns, or a phase curve that shows heat moving from day to night. Nitrogen itself is very hard to detect, so scientists look for indirect clues and for combinations of gases that make sense together. Bottom line, TRAPPIST-1E remains one of the best rocky candidates for a real atmosphere around a nearby star, but it is not confirmed yet. More transits and smarter corrections are on the way. Comment TRAPPIST if you want a one-screen checklist that shows the clues so far, what tests are next, and what would finally confirm an atmosphere.